Hi guys, DevilHunterXYZ, and I got another product that I want to unbox in front of you guys, and it is the new Game Capture HD 2. Uh, yeah, it's the second version of the original Game Capture HD by Ape Media, and this, well this technically came out back in November last year, I just now finally got it since they just recently got rid of the HDCP on the PS4, uh, but this thing can actually do can actually record gameplay for pretty much all the main systems right now. PS3, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, the Wii U, and a lot of good things. Although, the, a little note to keep in mind is if you're going to do recording for PS3, you have to get the component cables separately. Unfortunately, they don't come with it, so unless you still have the original cables from the original device. But, uh, I mean, this. This little device right here is pretty similar to the original one. It uh, doesn't require any laptop to record. Uh, you can do pretty much the same thing as the original. It's just more added things to it. And also, it actually does come. There is an app that you can get for your like iPhone or Android that, that can actually um, that can help kind of control the device on your phone. So almost like a second remote. Uh, I haven't opened it yet, so I just kind of cut the tab, so I don't waste time on that, but yeah, let's get to it. Yeah, I said the box is a lot bigger than the last one. Let's see. First thing you see, of course, is a little quick guide, a little quick setup guide. Yeah, make sure to read that later. <laughs> and the device itself, but take a look at in a few minutes. Uh, so underneath that, you get an actual user manual. Just like before. <laughs> Except I only see two languages this time. Or actually, maybe I make it four. <laughs> kind of odd, just a lot of different languages. And a lot more pages for just English as opposed to the other ones. Hmm. Let's see. Got this. This is your power adapter. Yep. Pretty much the same as the other one. I had to add a little electric plug into it. Yeah, this little thing here you have to slide into the adapter. Yeah, you're supposed to just slide in here, snaps on, get yourself a little plug. Yep. I think the wiring, look at it, is probably about the same as the other one. Not as long. Oh well. Uh, get yourself a actual HDMI cable. Hm, not bad. Well, not as long as the ones you usually get for TVs, I would think. <laughs> Let's see later. Yep, got your remote control. <laughs> and it looks pretty much the same compared to the other one. Yep. Of course. I don't think I see any batteries. <laughs> hmm. A little bit of a jip. I get my own batteries for this, but yeah, I mean it's pretty much the same type of remote. Hopefully it functions the same. <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> Here are the batteries. Yep. Uh kind of cheap batteries actually. Hmm. Yeah. 
I think I might actually want to replace these with something more, you know, maybe like Duracell or something. But anyway, I got the actual device itself. Take out the cover. I gotta say, it's a lot more sleek, a lot thinner than the other one. Hmm. I can design the front. Uh, yeah, I mean, in the back, you got your plugins for your component cables, you know, for your, you know, standard component recordings, like on the PS3. Uh, got, got the HDMI in and out. Uh, there is a Ethernet port for, you know, I mean, this thing can actually connect to the internet and actually upload videos straight into YouTube with this device. Although, I know, I know there was like a recording, so recording editing software or something into this thing, and it's pretty basic, but I really think I'm just going to more or less stick to putting it on the computer first, editing it that way, and then uploading to YouTube. Uh, yeah, and then on the front, got your little, of course you can use your USB flash drive to record, thank god. And of course you can actually record using an actual internal hard drive if you want. Uh, you have your plug-in for your microphone and your you know, headphones, you know, if you want to do live commentary. And then you have actual, you know, record, power button, it's little indicators to tell if you're doing HDMI or if you're doing components. Yeah, but, yeah. A lot lighter than the other one. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, can't wait to get my hands on it. and. Probably the first time we're doing is actually doing some uh, Call of Duty Ghost gameplay. I've been meaning to do that for quite some time. And uh, hopefully be seeing those pretty soon. Uh, this is Dolphin XYZ, and until next time.